What is your nature? How are you experiencing your reality? What kind of world have you woven for yourself? You will only experience this world based on the nature of who you are and how you perceive your reality. So in a world that demands that you must constantly do, I tell you, slow down and just be. You are not a human doing, you are a human being. In a world that promotes fear, preaches a scarcity and a lack, everything seems to be running out. Will you dare to see the abundance, the never-ending, ever-flowing blessings all around you and in all things? In a world that wants you competing with everyone for your survival, Hunger game style, doggy dog society. Learn to be a cooperative component of the universe, and all that is yours will not depart from you. In a world that puts its faith in future plans and intellectual achievements, just know that here and now is all that you have. Because when tomorrow comes, it will simply be today. In a world caught up with glitz and glamour and extreme makeovers all over the top, find your simplicity and that unassuming naturalness. In a world full of strife and chaos, be the silence and find your quiet space. In a world that's obsessed with overindulgence and overconsumption, I tell you, you must fast, you must abstain, you must curb your excesses, you must say enough, thank you, but no thank you. In a world that wants you to obey and conform against all of your intuitive sensing and your moral compass, do not. I repeat, do not comply, for you are sovereign, you are liberated, you are free-spirited, and you are not of this world. In a society that values the intellectuals, the well-schooled, the modernist, trust your inner vibrations, your deepest intuitions. It will never lead you astray, for knowledge is never learned. It cannot be studied, it is experienced. Recognize the power of divine intelligence that sustains this world and everything in it. And that includes you. In a world full of narcissistic ideas and the thirst for war, let your simple thoughts and your ideas breathe life and promote peace. In a world full of distorted souls, cold, selfish, and calculated, choose differently. Be selfless. Teach. Silently educate. Enlighten. And have faith in humanity. In a world of vanity and shamelessness, you must be the opposite. Value humility and keep your sense of shame intact. In fact, it's a gift, a gift that many have since lost. In a world that wants you to grow up too quickly, keep your childlike nature. It will be one of your greatest assets. In a world that distracts you and lulls your soul to sleep, find your spirituality and practice daily. You must know thyself to be thyself. In a world of social media, Netflix, and Apple TV, (laughs) don't let me use my mom voice. When last did you read a book? In a world that seeks more and more extreme nudity, only fans page and pornography. Come on, don't you see what they're doing? Go and put some clothes on. Be the opposite 
of what is portrayed as normal. Because today's normal is getting darker and darker. And whether or not you see it, it's designed to push you to the limits. Hold yourself up high, lest they push you into the swamp. Question everything, for you are of the light. Don't be a puppet. Exert yourself. Seek. Research. Do the work of living as free as you can be. Free from your controlled mind. Like Neo in the Matrix, you must now choose the red pill. You must now wake up. Not bound by the direction of society, but by walking your own path. However lonely and tedious it may be. Don't skip vital steps for your growth. Don't jump cues. Don't seek magic pills. Find your place in the natural order of things. Fear nothing. Relax. See yourself as a loving participant of creation. Fulfill your destiny. This is what you came for. Unblock your energy centers, ignite your gifts, and let your talents flow. Connect to your virtues. Awake from your lukewarmness. And finally, pray. Worship. Give fervent thanks because you are here now, awake, conscious in this moment. And more importantly, let your supreme goal be to live in accordance with the laws of nature in such a way that one day you are permitted to enter that realm of eternal gardens that your creator has so graciously prepared for you. Oh, so shall it be.